Okay, so I just watched um, Hannity, and he's talking about the Trump case. And the only reason why I'm going to do this video is because I want to talk about the example we have as women. Um, I just watched somebody uh, from a church talking about feminism and femininity and the difference. And we have had a bunch of waves of feminism. Um, we had, you know, stuff in the 70s and 80s. And then we had, um, you know, some stuff was good, like women could vote. And then we had another wave of it. And we keep having these waves where it was activism. And now it's just unbelievable what we're seeing in the Trump case. Um, so Stormy Daniels is the one who is standing up for herself, supposedly, and fighting Trump. Um, my opinion on this and it won't be popular and that's okay, is that she got what she asked for. It was consensual by her own words. She had what she wanted. So she is in the industry of abuse and I left this message, I left a comment on the Hannity um, comment section. She's in an industry of, of abuse. She is encouraging other women um, to be in this industry from what I've seen. I, you know, I looked up just a little bit of what she's done. I haven't, you know, gotten in the smut and I won't, but she has encouraged other women to do this. The pornography industry is not only a low value for women, but it is sickening. It takes something from the soul. So as she's been abused, she is abusing others. And, you know, the thing is, I understand standing up for yourself against those who look a lot bigger, have more money, have more power, but she is not a victim in this case. She actually chose to have sex with Trump, if that is true, which he's denied it, and she actually at one point did deny it and say she didn't. So I don't know who to believe, but she is not a victim. Trump is her meal ticket. The attention she's getting is her attention focused on her. Um, this is not what we want for a woman. And this is the intention of my video. This is not how we want girls to be raised. To say, it's okay to do anything I want. It's okay for me to be in the pornography business. It empowers women. It helps us to make money. It helps us to do all this stuff. You know what? That is actually no better than sex trafficking girls. So, um, you know, I, I did watch one of her videos where she says, you know, life is short and we should be able to do whatever we want and not give a hoot of what other people think. The thing is, it does matter. It does matter whether you live only once or not. It matters how you live. And obviously she's lost and she doesn't know God and I get that. But we are all going to be held accountable for what we do in this life. And she just, um, that's not how you live. And I think that as she ages, um, as most of us women do, um, she's going to regret this. I mean, a real beautiful woman. I think um, Trump's wife, Melania, is got some real beauty and some brains. Um, as we age, real beauty comes from the heart. It doesn't come from how you look on the outside. So just looking at this, um, this woman who, you know, is a stripper and likes to get men to lust after her, it is really sick. And I don't see, as we stand up for what's right and wrong in society, whatever issue it is, I don't see why this would be applauded. I see so many people deceived um, by a woman who's attractive. Why? Why would you want a man's life um, destroyed like Trump over something that you know, it's got nothing to do with politics. It really doesn't. What they did, whether true or not, true or not, is not, it doesn't have anything to do with politics. So, um, I like Trump. I like that he's standing up for himself. I like that he knows that he's actually being persecuted. It does remind me of this week of Palm Sunday with Christ being persecuted. Obviously, Trump is nowhere close to you know, the holy Jesus, but it does say something. It does remind you of, for me, it reminds me of the people who hated Jesus and tried to find anything they could 
to get on him. So um, I don't know why anyone would believe a woman with such low morals as that. And, you know, she's trying to say, well, it has nothing to do with my job. The very fact that she uses men to lust after her, uses men to validate herself right there will tell you her character is not that great. So I really don't, um, I really feel for Trump right now. And I, the whole point of this is not political. It's just to say women deserve a better model.